Hi, I'm Keith Barker. One of the questions I got recently was, how exactly, Keith, did you get into the field of networking and computers and so forth? And it was really quite simple. I was a cashier. <laughs> and as a cashier, I ring people up at a hardware store. And I noticed that occasionally there would be a register that broke, and there would be a technician who came in. So this technician that I noticed came in to fix the registers. He had this really cool silver briefcase, like a James Bond briefcase. He had a nice car. I say it was nice because it didn't have rust on it like mine did at the time. And I thought, wow, this guy looks like he has it made. I wonder what he does. And so I, I chatted with him and found out that he was a network technician that worked on these registers. And I thought to myself, you know, if this person can do it, I think I could do it too. And I, I want you to have the same feeling. If Keith Barker can do this, you can do it. Because that's what my life these days is dedicated to, is to assisting people in making that jump. So here's how I, I got into networking. I took a course. I, I, back in the 80s, I spent $6,000 on an eight-month course. And at that time, it was uh, one of my best options. So I got, a, I got a loan. I spent the money, went to the course. And I learned a bunch of technical skills. And I was really motivated. And that motivation is important because it gets you through some of the work. There's going to be some lifting involved. And once you get used to the fact that, OK, there's going to be some learning involved, that, that was a catalyst to get me my first job with electronic data systems back in the 80s. And it was wonderful. So from there, I just used the technique that I shared with, I've shared with other students as to keep learning. So with my job at EDS back in the 80s, I had the interview with them right out of school, right out of technical school. And in the interview, I said this. I said, what is it that I can do right now before, let's say, if, if, the, if the opportunity comes up where I'm hired, what can I do right now between now and the time I'm hired to prepare and to get more ready to be more effective if I indeed am hired? I honestly believe that one earnest thought that what I, I can start preparing now actually got me that job. It, it had me stand out above the rest. I had the certification, which I had spent some time getting. I had no real world practical skills, but I had a burning desire to go above and beyond the call of duty and actually study and prepare. So I got that job. And tell you what, they, they actually told me what I could do between the time I had the interview and the time I got the job offer. And I actually did it. It was on, back in the day, HP printers, <laughs> laser jet printers, when they were just you know, getting to the common desktop. So I used that technique always. And so as I continued to progress, I kept learning. I went through the world of Novell back in the 80s, and then Microsoft, and then Cisco. And Cisco is still a, a love of my heart today. And I just hit my mic. <laughs> and I also had a Juniper, and Hewlett Packard, and Brocade, and Palo Alto, and several other vendors as well. But the secret is this. Nothing is, nothing is stable as far as knowledge. You're always going to have to increase your knowledge. So I would encourage you, as you want to make a change, start with some training. Start with some training immediately. And the most effective way, if you, like me, are a visual learner, you like seeing things, CBT Nuggets is an awesome resource. Because we love creating these videos, because we know at the other end of this is you. You're watching the videos, going through it step by step. And we can give you that catalyst to get to that initial skill set to get into the field. And then as you continue to learn, We've got a wide library of training to keep you up on any skill, whether it's on the server side or the network side or something in between. So that's my story of how I've you know, got into the networking field from a cashier to a network technician with EDS by getting some training, having a burning desire to do it, and taking that opportunity and showing some initiative. So I wish you the best in your career upgrade or your career path. And I hope this has been informative for you. And I'd like to thank you for viewing. Thank you.